My name is Diane Austin. My role is personnel specialist. I'm also the team lead for the Skyward software on the HR side of uh, the world. I try to get up every day at 5 a.m. and that's just because I enjoy the peace and quiet. We go for a walk but with the dogs, start getting ready for work. Um, I arrive at work around 8.30. I then check my voicemail, my email, and then the phone starts ringing and people start stopping by and asking for questions. A lot of what I do is Skyward support, um, whether that be with the on the HR side with uh, Skyward True Time, uh, with time sheets, time off requests, task manager. There's so much change that occurs, whether it be from what's happening in the world. Um, again, technology drives so much. And as that's all happening in the classrooms, that has a major impact what happens in a, you know, what changes need to occur in a district office, how we need to adapt as well. To stop for lunch, it's just really hard for me to get back into the swing of it afterwards, so I kind of just work right through. Another major role that I have is onboarding for support staff. You would think as a school district that most of your onboarding is done before school starts. Well, with support staff, it's never ending. So rarely does a day go by that I'm not meeting with a new hire doing an onboarding meeting. When you're hiring support staff, these are people who typically have other positions and so if they're having to give a two-week notice, the last thing that they want to ask their employer that they're leaving is, hey, I need a couple of hours off so I can go meet with my new employer. So what I try to offer the new support staff employees is, hey, I'll be around our office as late as you need me to be. What you need to do when you're in a career, no one's going to hold your hand and say, okay, did you learn the latest and the greatest of this? Are you aware of this? Um, you need to keep your eyes open, your ears open, your mind open to change. And you have to push yourself so that um, you're prepared for whatever change that your job may have. My initial position with the school district, I was a special ed paraeducator. That was the position that um, was the most um, amazing position I've ever had and I really can talk about it without choking up just because the students I worked with, um, I think they were angels and they taught me more about life than anything. One night I was sitting at my daughter's softball game and um, two people from the district office were there with their daughters as well and they turned to me and they said, would you want to come work for the, at the district office in the HR role? and they offered it to me temporary. That temporary position um, wasn't so temporary because as I said, I've been in there for 14 years. <laughs> when I look back to what it was initially, to what it is today, all the changes that have taken place, it's phenomenal. When I get home, I usually get home before my husband. Um, our dogs are pugs, so when I open the door, I get pugged. <laughs> <laughs> which is like one of the best parts of my day. Um, so right away we got to go for another walk. Um, and actually when I get, get back from that walk, I get ready for the next day. I uh, make my smoothie, get my coffee ready. If it's nice outside, you'll see me outside till the sun comes goes down. Flower gardening, yard work, meeting with neighbors, that kind of thing. You know, when you meet with a new employee, that's a life-changing event to get a new job. And to be a part of that, um, it's always full of laughter and excitement and um, I do what I can to make them feel that they made the right choice into coming into our district and making them feel as welcome as possible. Yeah, that's my favorite part. <laughs>